What's going on YouTube? Bar to the double E dash of the Z-O-N coming at you once again. And uh, I'm just coming at y'all to make a quick video. Uh, just talk about some stuff that's going on in the gaming world. Uh, most recently, what I've seen is that uh, PlayStation uh, finally either it had or it's about to have. It's a big update that will allow for a slew of new features. Most importantly, the feature everybody's been waiting for, which is shit, the feature should have been there from launch. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they have not, they have not, uh, they haven't received the update that allows them to use their M.2 slot just yet. But they have received uh, an update that will allow them to do what Xbox Series X allows you to do from day one, which is basically if you're running out of space uh, and, and, you know, they don't have the M.2 availability yet, what you can do is you can now use an external uh, hard drive, regular old external hard drive, plug it in, and you can have games, PlayStation 5 games, stored on that external drive until the moment you want to play them you transfer them back into the system so they can run off the system's internal ssd uh that's good for playstation owners uh us microsoft xbox users have had that feature since day one so i'm just saying so it's not all that you know like revolutionary but good for them they, they finally have options man uh another up another feature from this update that really struck my ear uh as kind of peculiar uh and again this is me give me one second this is me speaking on what I read as far as what I can comprehend from the new update, what it is, and, uh, you know, my understanding of it. So, apparently, it's going to give uh, PlayStation 5 users the ability to connect with their friends uh, who, who do not have a PlayStation 5 yet, but have, still have a PlayStation 4, and allow them to basically virtually share the controller so that they can, from what I understood, so that they can you know check out one of these new playstation 5 games meaning let's say i had a ps5 i'd be playing uh miles morales right and i'd connect with a friend of mine who has a ps4 and i'd be able to transfer uh, the controls to him and basically say hey test it out play it for a few minutes and see how you like it I'm trying to convince them to jump over to playstation 5 this sounds great doesn't it wait a minute there's always a catch see the catch for me is hmm, that would mean that you have PlayStation 4 users, albeit virtually, but still playing and controlling PlayStation 5 games with their PlayStation 4 controllers, which you did not allow to be forward compatible, and then gave Sony users the excuse that that's because of the adaptive triggers and all the new technology that's in the new controller, it just wouldn't work, but here it's working. So, did Sony get caught in a lie here? By their own update, did they just fucking... Did they just basically expose themselves with their pants down? Uh, because that's what it seems like to me. I mean, it just seems like, you know, you're, you're going to allow PlayStation 4 users on their PlayStation 4 with their PlayStation 4 controllers to take over a PS5 game that their friend is playing if their friend gives them the option or the permission to do so. And then they'll be playing a PS5 game with their PS4 controller, which we were told was not possible. No. There they go again. Uh, anyways, if you guys uh, if you guys can or if you guys know more about this than I do, uh, maybe you can confirm or, you know, tell me that I'm wrong in the comment section. That's what it sounds like to me. Uh, but let me know. Uh, it just it just seems like it just seems like something that Sony would do. That, that seems like something that would happen to Sony. They'd be like, oh, let's do this update. We're, we, we, we gotta, we're losing, uh, you know, the buzz, man. And people are starting to complain. Let's do this update and act like we're doing some good stuff for the gamer. And at the same time, expose the fact that we were holding shit back from them in the first place. Anyways. So, yeah, that's that, man. Um, far from Sony's update, uh, not much else going on in, in the way of games, man. Uh, or, you know, on anybody's side, really. Right now on the Switch, it's still just Monster Hunter Rise. I mean, I mean, not for me personally. You know me, I'm not that big of a Monster Hunter fan. But the game is doing phenomenally well. Uh, it's selling like crazy. Um, oh, we did get, uh, you know, it wasn't really news, but there was a story that broke out about how, how, how an Intel, how, I'm sorry, how Mario Kart Nine, uh, Mario Kart Eight uh, Deluxe is selling so well even still even four years in and really if you count the wii u version which is the, the original game i mean deluxe as great as it is is really just a port with some added features but it's still just a port of that same game man you're, you're going back seven years or so seven or eight years around there 
I mean, that's that's freaking crazy. And and the game is still selling. It's it's in the top ten, uh, MPD every every week since then, man. So you got that. Uh, and because of that, it doesn't seem like Mario Kart Nine would be coming anytime soon. I mean, Nintendo's basically doing a, a you know a Spawn Wave. I, I saw Spawn Wave's video, and he he hit it. He hit the nail right on the head. It's a perfect analogy. Uh, Nintendo's basically doing the Rockstar right now. You know, Rockstar makes all the you know Grand Theft Auto, and they would make a new Grand Theft Auto every couple years, every two three years, whatever. And since they saw that Grand Theft Auto V just continues to sell no matter what. I mean, this is the fourth generation of consoles, or third generation of consoles, I believe, that Grand Theft Auto V has been optimized and put on. Uh, they they figured they could just do DLC. And they're, they're making boo-goo bucks, so uh, why not? Uh, the, Nintendo's taking it a step farther. Nintendo hasn't done a goddamn thing for Mario Kart 9. Uh, I'm sorry, Mario Kart 8. Um, Save the, the DLC that was for the original Wii U version, like the Mercedes DLC, and you know, who cares? No, all they really did was they added a, a battle mode. They added two players to, uh, I'm sorry, two weapons per, per you know, two items instead of one. And they added two or three new uh, cart uh, drivers, you know, the, the Inklings, um, uh, King Boo, and I forgot who else. Uh, they really didn't do anything else. So, you know, I mean, maybe at least they can take a page out of Rockstar's book and actually give us some DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe if Mario Kart 9 is not coming anytime soon. I mean, Jesus you know, like it's funny, bro, because Mario Kart 8 sells and sells and sells. But if I'm honest with myself, when was the last time I played Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Man, if if, if we're not talking about some, you know, game night where I just grab the kids and they say they want to play Mario Kart instead of Smash Brothers and we do Mario Kart. If it ain't that, on my own, I haven't played Mario Kart 8 in years. You know, in, a, in, a, in at least a year. At least a year, if not more. Um, But... If you were to drop a brand new tracks pass or or character pass, some new characters, some new carts, you know, some new stuff, man, to 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 make it worthwhile going back to play, bro, I'd be, and I'm sure millions of other Nintendo users would be all over that game all over again. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I because I, I know it sells and it sells, and people are playing it for sure. And anytime, if I if I were to go right now and try to find a match, it'd be like this, boom. That that shit's packed. I get that. But I know for sure, excuse me, uh, uh, gas bubble. I know for sure that there are m- massive amounts of Nintendo Switch owners out there who have, you know, and I, I hate to say it this way because it sounds blasphemous, but it, it, it happens to the best games in the world, so it's not blasphemous. I'm just bored of it. I'm bored of Mario Kart 8. There's nothing for me to go there and play anymore. Yeah, occasionally I'll go hit up an online match, but I, like I said, I haven't done that in at least a year. Um, some new DLC, some new tracks, some new characters would definitely blow that game open again for me and for i know for countless other uh, switch owners um yeah man uh what else is going on man as far as uh, microsoft said oh there's another story out there that you know it, it's it seems to be true and uh it, it, you know it's a shame but it's not unexpected dude uh, that whole C-bomb, CMOS uh, issue uh, that's been discovered in the PlayStation 4 and in the PlayStation 5 and supposedly also in the Xbox Series X and a lot of these, you know, modern consoles uh, have an issue that, you know, down the line, years down the line, CMOS battery will die as it does in any electronics and, you know, it dies on laptops, it dies, you know, in anything that it's really put in. Um, it's no real lifespan that I can give you a number for, but, you know, years down the road, it will die. And then what happens is not only does the CMOS die, but the more the more tragic thing is that servers get taken offline, you know? So, like, you know, PlayStation 3, their store just went offline, and it's, it's done, you know? Those servers are gone. A lot of those games that require check-in with those servers are never going to play again, digital or physical. So that's, that's a fucking huge issue. And that's going to happen with Xbox. That's going to happen with her. I think Xbox is the one that's most safeguarded against it because, number one, Xbox has kept all of their consoles around. I mean, Xbox, through Game Pass, and on the Series X itself, I'm still enjoying games from the original Xbox. You know? I'm still enjoying games from 360. I'm still enjoying games from the Xbox One and games like the Medium and any other Xbox Series X exclusive that comes out, I'm, I'm enjoying. So Microsoft is more... More pro backwards compatibility, back, uh, more pro games, uh, gaming, gaming history preservation. So I think they'll have more of a workaround than more of a of a safeguard against that. But the bottom line is, you know what's happening, man. 
We all know what's happening. These are businesses, man. These are businesses. And why would they want you to continue to be able to play your, your old version of an old game that came out 10, 15 years ago on your newest hardware when they can allow that to be discontinued, no longer work, and sell you a remake or a remaster or a re-release of this game for 60, 70 bucks? That's what it is, man. That's what it is. And it's real unfortunate, but that's something that, you know, I don't even want to think about because it makes me mad and, and, and it makes me apprehensive, but... That's, that's the gaming industry, dude, honestly. And I, and I hate to say that because it sounds like a cop-out. It sounds like it's just, oh, whatever, let it be. Let them, you know, basically give it to us up the ass with no lube. But what are you going to do? Stop gaming? You know, what are you going to do? You know, I mean, I don't, think this is a, I don't think this is one of those issues that we can make a lot of noise about and they're going to listen to us. Because I don't think enough of us ever will make noise about that. But anyways, I mean, yeah, that, so that's out there. Um... You know, me personally, bro, I, I I've just been loving it, man. I I've been I've been I've been on the Series X. I've been a little bit on the Switch also as of late. You know, I got jumped back into my Jurassic World Evolution on my Switch because on my Switch is where I have, even though it's the newest version of the game that I have, and so by by virtue of that, it has the less hours invested in it. It is the one that is the complete edition that has all the DLC. So I'm trying to play through now uh, uh, Secrets of Dr. Wu, which was something I never got to do on the on Series X or Xbox One or PS4. Uh, and it's the one, the story uh, the story DLC that was like 20 bucks that has a lot of uh, a lot of new missions and uh, you get to create a lot of different hybrid dinosaurs, like the Spinoraptor or the, I think there's a Stegoceratops or something like that. There's, there's like three or four different hybrid dinosaurs that are fucking crazy hybrids. Uh, so I always wanted to play that and see how that story worked out. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing it on my Switch. Uh, also, you know, uh, on Series X, man, I had a hell of a gaming weekend, bro. I was on everything, dude. I was on Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, again, not the online, just the, the game itself. Uh, I was on, bro, Forza Horizon 4. I love that fucking game. That is, I got to agree with Red Knight, dude. Uh, for those of you who know Red Knight, uh, Active Gamer Life, uh, I got to agree with him. That is, it's by far the, the, the best racing game around. Forza Horizon 4 is awesome. It's got it's got like a, a an on steroids version, or you know, so to speak, of that Diddy Kong racing open like adventure world, you know, because it's, it's an open world and you can just go. You're not you're not going from event to event like you know down a list. No, you got to drive to your events. You got to find them. You got to you know plot your course. You know, there's farm or barns hidden all throughout the map, and when you find them, you find like, an old relic of a car inside of it that gets restored, and you get to keep it like a secret car. I mean, it's so much fun, bro. It's a beautiful game on Series X, 4K, 60 frames per second. Shit is just delicious. It is delicious. It is, bro. It is. I take I take screen captures of that game, or sometimes I don't even take screen capture. I just let I just put the controller down and I just look at my car right there in the middle of the street with other cars passing by and the leaves rustling and the wind blowing and it just looks so fucking real dude it's insane what a hell what, what a driving game dude what a racing game super fun um so i've been yeah i've been on gta 5 i've been on forza horizon 4 uh i just recently downloaded nhl 21 through game pass uh i, I love nhl games they're so much fun uh that's one of the one of the things that ea does really well is hockey games uh they are so much fun man so i'm all up in nhl 21 amazing looking game super buttery smooth presentation and gameplay um what else uh oh I, I put i didn't get to play it yet i had it downloading last night so i'll probably check it out tonight uh the master chief collection i finally decided to download that i want to see you know what the multiplayer is like on all the different versions of the games um also downloaded ukulele in the impossible lair i always wanted to get into that i wanted to see what the sequel was like to ukulele the original um there was something else bro i was all i was of course i was up and down state at the k2 always i always go back to that game um there was more man i was doing something else what else was i playing mm, i'm sure it'll come to me but yeah man I, like so series x I, like I, I was going crazy this weekend man uh easily five or six different games i was heavily invested in this weekend uh on my series x and like i said my switch on the side here and there with jurassic world evolution uh, a little bit of Mario 3D officers. Never get enough of that. So yeah, man. Um, uh, last thing I wanted to talk about before I get home is I got get home now. I got to do my workout. I got to fucking clean the house and all this shit. Um, 
of E3, man. E3 is right around the corner, man. And we're reaching the end of April. I mean, later on this, later on uh, this week, Friday, it's Mortal Kombat, baby. It was just, oh, I can't wait for that shit. Uh, and then, you know, then for me, it's just the fast track to E3. I'm just like, okay, we're, you know, at the end of April, it's March. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not March, uh, May and then June. May and June. So a month and a half, two months left, and we're at E3 time, dude. So loving, I'm, I'm loving the, the fact that E3 is back this year. Uh, and I'm not going to say to some degree, it's back. You know, those of you who don't want to be there, those of you who want to pussyfoot around this pandemic, keep, keep, keep doing that, whatever, who cares? Um, you know, Nintendo's there, Microsoft is there. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Capcom, Ubisoft, they're all, they're all going to be there. The only ones I know that for sure are not going to be there is Sony. Again, who cares? Um, you know, I'm sure Sony will do something and to, to reveal what they have, if anything. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm hyped for it. And I'm, I'm just looking at I don't care how good uh, Mario Kart 8 is selling. I am going to continue to predict Mortal, uh, Mortal Kombat well because of MK. I'm going to continue to predict Mario Kart 9 until my fucking balls fall off. <laughs> uh, Mario Kart 9, damn it. I, I, I want to see that announcement at this E3. But things I think we will see, okay? I think we will see Metroid Prime 4 in some some form or fashion. I, I'm not expecting a release date. I'm not expecting a gameplay trailer. But some type of cinematic short teaser I, I think we will see that. Um, just to remind everybody and to, and to show everybody that hey, listen, it is it is not only not only are we saying it's being worked on because we can say that till we're blue in the face. Here's something tangible, you know. Here's something just to lay your eyes on and be like, oh shit, it's not just a logo anymore. Uh, I think we will definitely see Breath of the Wild 2. I'm not even I'm not I'm not skeptical about that or hesitant to say that at all. I think we will see Breath of the Wild 2 and a good amount of it. I think we will see a nice you know, a, a good, I don't want to say chunk, because that's like not the right word, but a nice size trailer, maybe some gameplay wrapped up in there, and a release date, uh, uh, which I which I expect to be holiday this year. Um, uh, I want to see, I want to see, see, I, I know it's asking for a lot because of the pandemic last year and all that, how that must have delayed so many things, like, realize that we 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 did we finally got to see no more heroes 3 which eh, i'm not really digging that too much but whatever at least there's the no more hero fans i mean i was looking forward to it when i saw it i don't like the way it looks and i don't like the way it i just don't i don't like what i'm seeing but either way for the no more hero fans you got you got your news you know when it's coming all right but we haven't seen bayonetta 3 and i'm sure that's a, a result of the pandemic and everything but i know it's asking a lot but man i would love it if this year was the year that nintendo came out and did like a 2017 and what i mean by that is like you get breath of the wild 2 you get to see metroid prime 4 you get more information on splatoon uh, splatoon 3 you get the first um visual proof and maybe a little bit of a gameplay teaser or something of the next 3d mario you know just hit you with like three or four of their top franchises bam 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 say that this is all coming Second half of 2021, early 2022. Bam! Just like that. I would love that. Uh, for Microsoft, dude, I really think Microsoft is going to fucking... It's going to come out swinging. Uh, because of everything they showed... Excuse me. Everything they showed in that... that um, well, let me be honest. Everything they showed in, in both their third-party... Uh, you know, sizzle reel that they had last year... And their first party sizzle reel, you know, event where they showed all their stuff. The combination of all the games that were that were listed there in third party and especially first party, I think we're gonna see a lot of that in Microsoft's show. I think we're gonna see, <clears throat> excuse me, I think we're gonna see st uh, something on Forza. There's a lot of rumors, a lot of smoke about a possible Forza Horizon 5. That would be awesome. But we already know that the new Forza, the actual Forza Motorsport, is in production and in development. We saw how fucking ridiculous that looked in Microsoft's event. So I wouldn't be surprised to see something on one of those. I would love, I don't think we will, but I would love to see something on my baby, State of the K3. Because that trailer, that reveal was fucking epic. I want to see something on that. I don't know we will, though. Um, I don't think we'll see Fable. I think Fable's still far out. Avowed, I think we might see something about Avowed. The gunk, I want to see stuff on the gunk. I want to see 
if they do anything new with Sea of Thieves, I know their Sea of Thieves are constantly doing stuff, you know, you know, through DLC and all that, but a new game, maybe, I don't know, we'll see, um, Halo Infinite, I'm, I'm convinced, I'm pretty sure we're gonna see a big, a big spread on that, and I, I'm sure we'll be given a release date, like, you know, holiday this year, uh, and I think they might announce something like, you know, a beta trial of, of the, of the free multiplayer, you know, launching at the end of summer, or something like that, that would be awesome, uh, so I think Microsoft is going to do a lot of uh, cool stuff. Uh, Nintendo, like I said, I I, I, I want to see, and I have a feeling we will see Mario Kart 9, even you know, though Mario Kart 8 continues to sell like a fucking savage. Uh, but I, I, I do feel we will see Metroid Prime 4 in some form or fashion. I know we're going to see Breath of the Wild soon. And it would be awesome if they gave us, along with some Splatoon 3 news and footage, some footage of the new 3D Mario. Like, boom, here it is. We are working on it, and here it is, and it's coming, you know, early 2022 or something like that. So, we'll see, man. E3 is always the land of surprises, the land of, of, of spectacle, and sometimes great disappointment and failure. So, we'll see. But anyways, man, that's my video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, man. Uh, I'm just loving this game, I think, man. I, 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 it's, 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 it's a great, great, great time to be a gamer, man. It really is, man. Even with the pandemic and coming out coming out of the pandemic and seeing you know how much things have been delayed and all that just just to just to be in this time where we have things like game pass and and all these digital stores and and online gaming to the degree that it is now and you know developers being able to play with the newest toys and newest tech and give us some of the most fucking amazing games ever uh it's just great man it's great anyways man god bless y'all stay gaming peace